You're back up, uh, basically, and running. What makes your mattresses different? I, I, Morgan and I were talking before. I, 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 I know the brand name, but what may, you described it as a gel product. I'm curious. I'm in the market, um, <laughs> for one, and I'm interested in what, what makes your product different from, uh, well, we'll call it Brand X. You know who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, so we... We have been at this for, for nearly 25 years now, primarily originally in medical beds, um, and we still mm. sell uh, a decent number of medical cushions for wheelchair pads and, mm. and uh, through licensing medical beds. That's um, next for really, me, the well, wheelchair pad, but go ahead. It, it, someday. Um, and uh, you know, what we've come up with is the next generation of sleep service that's, that's a step beyond all the foams that have been mm -hmm. out there for the last mm -hmm. three decades. We've got, I'll, I'll show a little mini bed here. It's this gel-based yeah. elastic polymer mm. that's very stretchy. And in the actual bed, it's these, it's a grid. It's like a giant waffle yeah. and has these remarkable okay. qualities that, that support you evenly. It gets rid of the whole soft firm debate. It, right. it has the most balanced support of anything right. in the market. Because of the nature of the grid, it's very high airflow. Right. So a lot of mattresses today are throwing cooling fabrics and all these efforts to try to cool you down because foams get hot. We don't because we dissipate air and heat and it keeps a neutral surface, which right. is what keeps you from Got waking it. up in the middle of Got the night it. hot. Um, and it's instantly responsive. As you're moving around, when we move around a lot in bed, the nature of the elastic response is it's always adapting to you in real time. Morgan has There's a burning no question. Other technology. Yeah. You have, Morgan has a burning question. We're talking about cool mattresses. Go ahead, Morgie. We're talking about cool mat. Morgie, um, you know, we're talking. Basically, you're you're talking to consumers right now when you when you describe that technology. But I wonder how you're talking to investors too, especially given the fact that your stock has gotten the attention of, of the so-called uh, Reddit crowd as of late. Yeah, and we we got. We got attention from them as far back as a year and a half ago. Uh, we've, it's it's uh, always fun to watch uh, that investment community. Um, but yeah, no, we um, look. We we've, we've got a over two hundred patents issued and pending um, on materials of our own invention. I mean, literally, this, these polymers we created ourselves on machinery. The injection molding of these machines, these massive machines, we have eight of them now. Uh, millions of dollars to make. We make them ourselves. Okay. So over 90% of our net revenue is with materials of own, our own invention on machines mm. we built ourselves. It's a heck of a moat. And the yeah. fact that consumers respond positively to it, it's a differentiated product. Mm -hmm. Over 30% of our consumers state they learned about Purple from other Purple customers, okay. despite us spending over $200 million in advertising and selling this year. I All mean, right. it's just, it, it is a very different product. Joe Megabo, thanks for joining us today. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.